Hello everyone, Neil Patelia, thank you for downloading the latest episode of the Indian Startup Show. Today we are talking cricket with my guest, Abhishek Desai, he's the founder of Crick Heroes. Crick Heroes allows cricketers worldwide to score their matches and tournaments live and broadcast scores ball to ball. Amazing stuff. It's also a platform to showcase their skills and to get recognition. So in this episode we'll talk about how we got started and how it all works, playing cricket, uh, the business model, how big they actually want to go with this, thoughts on product market fit, and finally, advice for first-time founders and much, much more. So please enjoy the show. Thank you. Hello, Abhishek. Thank you for coming on the Indian Startup Shop today. Thank you, Neil. Thank you for inviting me. Uh, please tell us uh, what you're building. Uh, so I am building Crick Heroes. Yep. Uh, it's a very simple mobile app using which you can uh, score your local cricket match or cricket tournament digitally. Mm -hmm and broadcast scores live ball to ball, just like an international match. Just the way you follow uh, international matches on the apps like Crick Buzz or Crick Info, mm -hmm. you can follow any local cricket match or local cricket tournament on Crick Heroes. Excellent idea. Um, how did you come up with the idea? Uh, so we are uh, like a bunch of cricketers who play regularly over the weekends. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, every uh, like after every uh, cricket session, you know, and this is typical uh, like for all the cricketers. Yeah. You know, yeah. you 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 have to have discussion about the game, right? For example, you know, who played well, who played uh, bad, uh, how was the performance? You know, is is my performance improving or not? Am I becoming a better cricketer? You know, all these things. Mm -hmm. Now, so far, all these discussions happen without any data because you know either they are not keeping scores. Or they are keeping scores on paper-based score sheets, okay. which is which are very very uh, you know like difficult to understand and difficult to aggregate data later on, mm -hmm. right? So you know then we thought that you know I mean we are having these discussions and you know heated arguments sometimes and all of it without any data. So you know then we thought why don't we uh, you know like uh, start using a simple cricket scoring app or a cricket module so a scoring module using which we can score our uh, matches digitally and then probably you know, we can have better discussions over data. And then you know I, I went ahead and uh, because I was I was the guy who was in software, so mm -hmm. I went ahead and you know researched some of the cricketing apps which are available in the market. Mm -hmm. We tried a couple of them, but we were not very happy. Mm -hmm. So I decided that you know I should go ahead and make this app myself because uh, you know as I said I am already in the technology business. Mm -hmm. Actually, most cricket matches which happen on over the weekends. You know, they keep scores, like 70-80% of them keep scores, but they keep score on paper-based score sheets, mm -hmm. which again, as I said, it's very, very cumbersome to score. And as well as it is useless after the match is over because, you know, you do not have access to that, that data digitally. Mm -hmm. And you can never aggregate that data later on. Mm -hmm. right? So actually that scoring is worthless. So then, you know, in a way, a kind of a light bulb moment happened. And yeah. then and I thought that, you know, if we give them a very, very easy to use scoring module, then there is a possibility of making a good business here. Mm -hmm. And you know, that's how the entire uh, venture started. Mm -hmm. sounds, sounds exciting. Um, can you share some stats? Uh, you know, how, how many people are using it? Sure. So we launched the first version of the app in October 2016, okay. which was a very simple basic scoring module. And uh, so by like today, uh, it's, it's been almost 2021 20, months and we have about like more than 1.1 million cricketers. Wow. Uh, on the platform and uh, more than 80,000 matches have been scored all across the world and in more than 5,000 tournaments, uh, which is also called league somewhere. So, uh, you know, these are the basic stats. We we have about, uh, you know, like 20, 25,000 daily active users using Click Heroes as an application and about 150K monthly active users. Uh, how do you feel about those stats then? Uh, I mean, it's good. It's great, actually, because all these grow. I mean, this is this is an organic growth. You know, we haven't done any uh, like much paid marketing. You know, we we doubled it, uh, doubled in paid marketing for a month or two. Mm -hmm. But like ninety nine percent of this growth is like organic. Mm -hmm. So you know, that is a that is one thing which I'm really proud of. Mm -hmm. And do you plan to make money out of this? Then you know, is is there a specific business model? Absolutely yes. So, uh, so you know, when I when I started, uh, I mean, thinking it as a venture, what I did is I, I made up a small business plan. Mm -hmm. I put it across in front of my friends and uh, family, and you know, they decided to uh, like invest in the venture. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that's when the journey started, and because of that, we had to make money, right, sooner or later. 
and even then even then i had some ideas on you know how we can make money mm-hmm. and some of the channels have been validated now uh, because now we have like enough traction to make sense of it mm-hmm. but for example there are a couple of uh, uh, revenue channels right now one we have a premium membership we have, we call it crick heroes pro membership yeah which basically gives you access to your analysis your 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 own data mm-hmm. deep insights into your own and uh, data mm. and which helps you make better cricket uh, become better cricketers mm-hmm. so you know not only you can analyze your own profile cricket profile and uh, you know find out your strengths and weaknesses but you can also analyze uh, strengths and weaknesses of any other cricketers on cricket mm. so you can also become a better cricketer strategically mm. for example if i have a match tomorrow i can analyze the opposition team completely mm. on cricket right and figure out strengths and weaknesses of each of those members and that's how you know i can tomorrow i will be setting up my field accordingly i will be you know uh, setting up my betting order accordingly and hopefully you know will win the match with this insight this is the subscription model yeah. annual subscription model which is directly to uh, targeted towards players what what you like as a cricketer then <laughs> uh i mean yeah as a role i am an all rounder so okay. i bat as well as bowl and uh, yeah i mean sometimes i bat on in the top order and uh, in terms of bowling i am a like a middle uh, middle order bowler mm-hmm. what medium pace what, what's your highest score then oh my highest score uh, on cricket heroes it will be different but uh, i think uh, i made i made a 50 once so i i'm not a uh, uh, i'm professional cricketer yeah, i'm a amateur cricketer yeah amateur yeah, cricketer and yeah i have done i mean plenty of good scores Mm-hmm. and plenty of all round performances actually you know you can know all about that on cricket heroes if you if you simply go to my profile on cricket heroes you will understand everything about me as a cricketer okay so i'm on i'm on the website now yeah so just search abhishek yeah just search abhishek they site okay so i've got to- i've got associations tournaments matches yeah there should be a search option there uh, oh yeah search option yeah okay yeah okay. just just yeah just write abhishek they site my full name You should see my name in like one of the search results. Yeah. Okay. So, so just see just the way just the way we have a Facebook profile, we have our Twitter and Instagram profiles. Okay. Right. This is your legitimate cricket profile with data. Okay. So it's got your profile, uh, matches, stats, awards, badges, teams, photos. Okay. So every every player has got their own sort of individual statistics. Absolutely. Um, yeah, so you got 105 not out. Yep. We'll talk about that. No, 105 not out is you know the uh, the overall innings I am not out in. Oh right, all oh, right. So you, yeah, okay. I thought you got 105 not out. So it's 105 times you've been not out. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we play you know like a smaller uh, like a smaller over matches. Right. You know, right. Probably right, like right. seven or eight overs. Yeah. So you don't. A lot of runs. Yeah. So your average is twelve. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So your average is twelve point six five. So yeah, that's fair enough. Yeah. Uh, let's get the bowling stats. So how how long are the games then? These are uh, like typically with the games which we play. Yeah. Uh, over the weekend they are like eight over games. Oh. And we play we play three games in a day. Okay. So overall we play six games over weekend. Ah oh, right. Okay. Why 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 eight overs then? Oh okay because it's a it's a small field and uh, you know this is a like fire side or six side teams. Ah right. Okay. That's why. Okay. It's a full pitch. It's yeah. a full pitch uh, match. So you know you 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 get a proper uh, you know like pace bowling and everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But uh, since the field is small and the number of players per team are small like lesser. Mm-hmm. That's why uh, you know the and we play like three games so you know it's like we can have best of three. That's why. Best of three. Okay, that makes sense. Um do any professional teams use this then? Oh yes, yes, yes. Yeah. See, uh, in fact, uh, not just professional teams, but professional associations, okay. right? Yeah. So, yeah. like, India has a structure of uh, like there is BCCA and then there are state cricket associations, mm-hmm. and then under them there are district cricket associations. So we have about nine state cricket associations of India mm-hmm. using Crick Heroes as their official scoring uh, platform. Mm-hmm. So they score all their official tournaments all over the uh, year mm-hmm. on Crick Heroes platform. So that's why you know if you see the option there in associations, yeah, you will see ICC, state association, district associations, right? Yeah, right. And when you click on state, you will see there are like about uh, nine uh, state cricket associations who are member of Cricket Heroes. Mm-hmm. These are like professional players, right? Yeah. They they play cricket to make a career. Mm-hmm. So tomorrow they'll be playing for India, or to, they they may be playing for India A, India B, or even Ranji Trophy. 
right so this gives a lot of credibility to the platform that you know cricket heroes is not just for amateur cricketers and amateur tournaments mm-hmm. but also professional cricketers and professional bodies cricket bodies are also using the cricket heroes platform mm-hmm. excellent and how will you grow this platform then over the next 2 to 3 years uh in next 2 to 3 years i am planning to reach about 5 to 10 million uh, cricketers mm-hmm. how how will you do that then uh right now right now the growth has been organic as i said before yeah. but there are there are there are multiple ways uh, of uh, you know like growing this so uh, you know i am i am in process of raising like another round of funding right. specifically for marketing and growth actually mm-hmm. so there are like uh, obviously there are like various paid techniques using which uh, you know you can grow mm-hmm. uh, apart from obviously there are like there is an inherent virality of the app which is there mm-hmm. um there is uh, you know we can probably have some cricketer as our brand ambassador if you know if we raise enough money to do that mm-hmm. but um, all in all there are like multiple channels which we have identified using which we can grow cricket heroes as a platform even even today even today with these numbers we are the largest in this segment okay the companies which which started back in 2008 2010 they are you know lagging in numbers mm. compared to cricket heroes mm. what do you think that is yeah the primary reason for that is that cricket heroes is not just a scoring app but we have created a cricket network on top of it mm. right so not only you can score your own matches and your own tournaments but you can also follow other cricketers you can follow tournaments mm. right and you can see how others are doing mm. right which was not which is not the case with any of the competing app and one more thing you can analyze your performance and become better cricketer that is the second thing and third thing is that we also put uh, we also push lot of cricket related content on on the app mm. so it is not just a scoring app it is it is it is like a you know like a your your cricket app mm. you know just just a cricket app where you can you can see like you no know, cricket videos you can see cricket tips trivias you know lot of stuff which 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 gets pushed by the cricket heroes team which gets into your cricket feed So you know that's why the engagement is also very high, and uh, you know that's why the numbers are uh, so far good. Mm-hmm. Well, is this your is this your first startup then? Uh, no, this is not my first startup. Uh, I have done this, uh, you know, like uh, quite some time in past. So uh, my first company is Digicorp, which I started back in two thousand four. Yeah, that was right after graduating from uh, computer engineering uh, college, mm-hmm. along with my classmates. I started this company. Mm-hmm. So Digicorp is still there. Uh, my 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 colleagues are handling that, and mm-hmm. I am full time on Cricket Heroes uh, since last two years. Mm-hmm. So uh, Cricket Heroes is a new venture which we have recently started uh, back in two thousand sixteen. And even before Cricket Heroes in two thousand seven, also we tried launching few products. Yeah. You know, succeeded in some of them, uh, failed in most of them mm. in two thousand eleven, twelve. So we have always been we have been trying to you know launch our own products mm. and you know making venture out of them. Cricket Heroes is the first success story so far which we have seen. Mm. Um. So you you seem to be like you know, the the entrepreneurial type. Um. What is it you enjoy about being an entrepreneur then? I think uh, the 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 best thing about being an entrepreneur is you know being in control of your own destiny. Mm-hmm. Right. I mean obviously it is a lot of hard work, extreme risk, right? Even 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 like after these many years, uh, you know we cannot sit back and relax and you know uh, say that okay now you know we are all settled and everything, right? Still it is like constant hard work, but still you know you love what you do. Mm-hmm. Right. that is the main reason i believe that you know one should become an entrepreneur mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that you know you you control what you do you love what you do mm-hmm. and uh, you know there is a there is a different level of enjoyment which you get being an entrepreneur mm-hmm. which i think is 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 very very difficult to achieve in you know any other type of settings mm-hmm. you, you mentioned you mentioned failure um how how do you deal with failure then uh so uh You know, when we when we launched like few concepts, we launched about three concepts in two thousand seven, like Rick Heroes, yeah. right? And I think we failed in like all of them at that time. Now, uh, see, at that time, you know, we did not look at them as failures because for us it was just like another attempt which which did not succeed actually, mm-hmm. right? So I believe you know, we 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 always had faith that you know someday or the other we will come up with our own idea, we'll come up come up with our own product, and we will. grow this company in you know in a, in a non traditional way mm. so i think the faith in ourselves of you know doing something greater and uh, by believing that you know we are meant to do something greater than this 
I think that is one thing which has uh, which has you know kept us away from uh, the feeling of being a failure, and you know which 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 still drives us. Mm-hmm. When I say us, it is you know I think it is true for my colleagues also and myself also. Mm-hmm. What should first time founders be focusing on then, in in your opinion? I think the first time uh, first time founders should be absolutely focused on getting the product market fit. Mm-hmm. So you know the number one reason why most ventures fail, and you know even even our own ventures failed in past, is that we did not create the product which market wanted. Mm-hmm. Right. So I, I think the only thing which you should care is: Are you creating something which people want? Or you know I would I would uh, like to quote uh, the tagline of Y Combinator, which is like the number one accelerator in the world, mm-hmm. that make make something people want. Mm-hmm. I think that is the number one mantra any founder should be, you know, like uh, uh, having himself with. Mm-hmm. Uh, would you say you're motivated by money then? Yes, absolutely. I am. I will. I would say I'm motivated by my, uh, by money. Mm-hmm. And uh, the only reason is that not not that I you know like to spend money or splurge it, mm-hmm. but it is it is one of the measurement of success in today's world. Mm-hmm. And you know it defines your value in the society, right? And the other thing is, other thing is that you know it it makes certain things easier in life later on. So, for example, you know after one successful venture, right? It would be it would be easier to start another one and you know start impacting more lives. Yeah. Right. Which is which is I which I believe that is probably one of the most important reason according to me. Uh, is the, you know why people should focus on you know earning money mm. because it, it 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 helps them it helps them make a larger impact later on in the life which I believe if you don't have that you know it would be very very difficult to make that impact in society on society. Mm-hmm. Well, last few questions then. Do you have any like uh, books or blogs? Do you want to recommend to our listeners? Sure. So you know there are like few books which have uh, impacted our lives in a, in a greater way. One of the books is Rework from uh, the founders of Thirty Seven Signals, yeah. DHH and uh, Jason Fry. Mm-hmm. Right, that is one book which has inspired us a lot. Uh, even their first book, Getting Real, was also very uh, like inspiring. But it, it is primarily aimed at uh, like web developers and you know, web web based products. Yeah. But Rework is definitely one business book which you should read. Another business book which I like personally a lot is Hard Thing, Hard Things About Hard Thing. Yeah. By Ben Horowitz, right? And probably third book which uh, I can recommend is uh, is Zero to One from Peter Thiel. Mm-hmm. Yeah, these are like one of the like few of the most important books any entrepreneur should read. Mm-hmm. Excellent, some good recommendations there. Um, what what's the state of cricket in India then? This must, must be still still massive, right? Cricket is like number number two uh, sports in the world. Number two sport in the world. Mm-hmm. In terms of following, so there are like more than 2.5 billion followers of cricket in the world. Even according to the latest ICC report, which only considered uh, the uh, users above 16, mm-hmm. according to them also there are more than a billion followers in the world and more hundred, more than 300 million people participate in cricket. That means more than 300 million people actually play cricket, either as a hobby or either as a profession. So it's a huge market. Mm-hmm. Now, now, how big do you want to go with this then? This 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 particular app. I think we can become the number one cricket app in the world, mm-hmm. which we are definitely not right now, right? And we can we can cover the not only we can cover the cricketers who play cricket, but we will eventually cover all the cricket fans as well. Mm-hmm. Because as I said, you know, we are not just stopping ourselves as as a scoring uh, app or a, a scoring platform, but we are including much more, and you know, we are making this. This app bigger and bigger, so that uh, you know it, it can attract uh, not just the cricketers but any cricket enthusiast in the world. Mm-hmm. Excellent. And do you have like a favorite team or favorite player? Yes, actually, uh, yeah, obviously. So, uh, I mean, uh, as an international team, India is definitely yeah. my favorite team, and my favorite player would be MS Dhoni, mm-hmm. Mahendra Singh Dhoni. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. And, and do you have like a favorite T Twenty team, perhaps? Uh, my t- favorite T Twenty team, which will be, I will be uh, saying the IPL team. It is uh, Chennai Super Kings mm-hmm. okay. again because of Dhoni. Okay, okay, all right. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> what what is it about Dhoni then uh, that you, that you particularly like? Uh, uh, you know, I I really like his persona, mm-hmm. 
and i really obviously like him as a cricketer mm. but more than that you know he has a great persona you know the the coolness the calmness with which he carries himself mm. under any circumstances right whether it is a extremely pressurized situation or it, whether it is extremely relaxing situation he will be the same person mm. right and uh, i i think i think a very very few people in the world can do that mm-hmm. and you know that is something which attracts me a lot mm-hmm. Uh, last question for people who want more information on Crick Heroes. Uh, what must they do? They should just go to our website, crickheroes.in, or they can search for Crick Heroes in in the App Store uh, or or our Android Play Store. They can just download the app and start using it. You know, it is as simple as that. We have tried to make it uh, you know as easy to use as possible because it is aimed at normal cricketers and not professional scorers. So I believe any person who has little knowledge of cricket. should be able to download the app and start using you know start scoring in like 5 minutes mm-hmm. excellent abhishek thank you for coming on the show today i really appreciate it thank you so much neil thank you for giving me the opportunity cheers buddy thank you thanks to abhishek for coming on the show today and if you want to know more go to crickinheroes.in thanks for the support of podcast If you are building something something exciting, please email me hello at newcatalyst.co or tweet at Indian Startup SH. We can go to facebook.com forward slash Indian Startup Show. We'll let's connect. Thank you and goodbye.